Welcome everybody, I'm Tom Leedy. We're here just outside the entrance to the library gallery in Encinitas, California, where they're exhibiting some of my paintings in a show called Multiplicity. The exhibit's been interrupted by the coronavirus shutdown, of course, but now the library staff have been so kind as to allow us private access so we can shoot this video to share with you. So follow me and let's take a look. This is a great venue. It's a beautiful, spacious room with a lot of natural light from these big windows on the west side and plenty of wall space to hang paintings. So take a look around. As you can see, there's a lot of paintings in this show. They're arranged in related sets that uh, illustrate the multiple themes and styles and painting techniques that interest me. Uh, there's too many for us to look closely at each of them, but we can take a look at a representative sampling, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about some of those. So let's start over here with Victory Among the Planets. This is Victory, and uh, this was inspired by the Millinery Monument, which is located in the Heroes Square in downtown Budapest. Uh, at the base of the monument, they depict seven Magyar chieftains and other heroes that were central in the history of Hungary. The most important thing about the monument to me, though, was the central pillar, which at the top of, they have a statue of the Archangel Gabriel. And I adapted that figure to create kind of a, celest a celestial image of an indomitable spirit, and that's victory. This painting is called Danse Macabre. It's kind of a combination of figurative and abstract elements. And there are figures in there, although they might not be apparent at first. The story aspect of the painting is a convocation of dancing skeletons. And that might seem a little morbid, but to me it's meant to represent a celebration of the spirits of the dead. Like the observations that Latin Americans uh, hold during the Day of the Dead, which takes place on November 1st and 2nd, uh, which happens to be All Souls and All Saints days. The next one I want to show you is down at this end. This is called Event on an African Horizon. It's an, it's an example of some hard-edged things I do. And like Don's Macabre, it's got elements of abstraction and figurative work. But Event on an African Horizon also has a surrealist element to it. Strange plant shapes and an altar-shaped stone on a barren plain. Uh, zebra and cheetah patterns uh, suspended in a vast sky. And strangest part of all, uh, a landscape hovering above them. The next thing I'll show you is a piece called Apollo and Hathor. It's over on this side. This is Apollo and Hathor. It's based on myth. Myth is so full of interesting stories and so full of interesting avatars. And this is just an imagining of what might start up if two important deities from different cultures were to meet. Apollo, the ancient Greek golden boy god of light and healing and prophecy and music, meets Hathor one of the most primeval of the Egyptian goddesses, goddess of the sky, of fertility, of women, and love. I mean, what could happen?
One extra note about this painting. The background is done all in metallic paint, so it's very reflective of light, and that makes this painting very dynamic. It changes its appearance throughout the day uh, as the sun moves across the sky, uh, particularly in a location like this. Okay, let's move on down to this end. This is a painting called Moonlight Nose Ride. I did a lot of surfing when I was a kid in Encinitas back in the 60s. Uh, less and less as I've grown older, but still those endless beach days uh, and endless waves make a big part of my personal mythology. And I think that's true of a lot of the folks that I knew back then and that I still know now. This painting, uh, is my interpretation of that riding on air feeling that you get when you're perched on the nose of a surfboard and you're flying down the arc of a perfect wave on a perfect day. The last painting that I want to say something about right now is this one. This is called Ocean Number One. It's about as abstract as I get, uh, and it's based on the tide pools that you're likely to encounter at low tide uh, on any of the beaches in this area, uh, on any tidally active beach, I suppose. Um, the ocean is a major presence in our lives around here. Uh, it orients everything. Uh, it's pure power, but it's also calm and serene. This painting, is meant to evoke the motion and the life that you'll find in the shallows and in the reefs uh, of ocean environments. Okay, well that's it. That's the show, Multiplicity. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, before we go, I would like to thank the staff of the library gallery here at Encinitas for making it possible for us to do this. Uh, and I would also like to thank my wife, Martha, who has done the camera work during this shoot uh, and who has tolerated me throughout the COVID-19 shutdown and for decades before that. And I would also like to thank you for watching and listening. Okay, y'all, stay safe.